Today we are here celebrating the Rutgers 250 Breeding Celebration and Luncheon, and my role was to help organize the 13 programs that we are featuring. We have breeding programs that include turf grass, asparagus, hazelnut, strawberry, blueberry, peaches, apples, it's all the way to oysters. We have one uh, shellfish breeding program as well. The dogwood that we're highlighting today is brand new. This was bred really specifically, or released specifically for the Rutgers 250th anniversary, and we named it Scarlet Fire. And it's actually the first dark pink Kusa dogwood. Years ago, Rutgers was well known for a tomato variety called Rutgers, and we've been able to culminate a lot of work here to release another variety called Rutgers 250 uh, and celebrate that and celebrate lots of many, many years of work. It's, it's not just this year, but many, many years of work going into this project. Our Rutgers Fruit Innovation Center supports entrepreneurs with a variety of services and physical facilities that enables value-added production. This Rutgers 250 tomato sauce can be manufactured for sale to the public. Consumers are looking for these local, healthy, functional foods. The research they do is vitally important in so many, uh, on so many different levels, whether it's for the, the health of the population in terms of uh, new varieties of crops that have uh, you know, nutrient values that are you know, higher in value than some of the older varieties, whether it's disease resistant crops uh, that we can't grow anymore and we're trying to find solutions so that we can, like hazelnuts. We are celebrating these 13 all-star varieties by featuring the products in the menu and also having some of the plants here on display. all of the variety of uh, plant products that Rutgers is frankly responsible for uh, bringing farm to table for them. What we really try and do is, is work on things and issues that really affect the citizens of New Jersey. Releasing great tasting tomatoes helps the gardeners uh, that, that grow them, the consumers that, that get to taste them, and also really benefit the local farmers that are able to sell those crops or transplants of those crops to local gardeners. The folks on this team have been able to steer us in the right direction and um, really help us understand you know, where the agriculture community really was in the state and also you know, what the constraints that they were facing were and how we could be in a situation where we can help them as well kind of create some new, uh, new value out of products.